Yeast infections are those um, infections caused by the organism Canada albicans most commonly. There are of course other organisms that can cause that infection, but yeast infections are most commonly diagnosed in, um, in women with a vaginal discharge that's usually um, thick and um, very um, very uncomfortable. It usually causes a lot of itching in the vaginal area. Some other kinds of yeast infections that we see very commonly here in Louisiana, especially during this um, uh, hot time of the year, we see yeast infections all over the body, including underneath the, uh, underneath the abdomen, underneath the breasts. So if you think that you might have a yeast infection, the easiest thing is just to contact your healthcare provider. So the most common uh, symptoms from a yeast infection include um, uh, vaginal itching or itching anywhere else in the body, um, vaginal discharge that's um, usually thick. Um, those are the most common symptoms. A yeast infection is most commonly diagnosed um, uh, upon clinical examination. So the presence of a thick vaginal discharge um, with uh, erythema, redness of the surrounding tissues um, can provide the diagnosis. Occasionally a um, microscopic examination of the organism will um, will show signs of a yeast infection. Yeast infections on the skin areas like around the groin area and the breast area can be diagnosed upon uh, clinical examination and usually present with redness in that area and what are called satellite lesions, so little red dots surrounding the main area of redness. Yeast infections are most commonly treated with antifungals. Um, there is a pill called uh, Diflucan, which can be taken as a one-time dose. Usually that's effective within the first 48 hours. And then there's also a cream that can be used, Triconazole cream, and that's usually um, um, taken over a period of about five to seven days, depending on um, how many infections you've had and upon the judgment of your um, healthcare provider. Yeast infections um, definitely can be prevented, um, probably the Number one thing is to um, wear, especially during um, hot, humid times of the year, um, to wear loose-fitting clothing, um, to wear cotton underwear, something that's not very restrictive around the um, vaginal area. Um, some sources say that eating yogurt on a daily basis, um, yogurt has the um, bacteria lactobacillus or taking a probiotic, um, those are some good preventive methods. Um, and. Um, Probably one of the other things is um, to um, eat healthy and to um, diet and exercise to prevent diabetes. And then also if you swim or work out, make sure that you take off any um, wet or sweaty clothes immediately after you're finished. The safest thing is to have a frank discussion with your healthcare provider. Um, there may be some underlying causes um, that have not been treated that are causing recurrent yeast infections that may be more serious than the yeast infection itself. So the safest thing is always to contact your health care provider um, if you are having recurrent yeast infections. No, yeast infections, if properly treated, um, usually do not affect the pregnancy. Mm -hmm.